Right. It's you fill in the bubbles. It's a standardized test. Just, uh, just give me one. I don't care which one. I'm studying right now. I'm studying for what? The star? You got something to drink? Um, I was gonna get some. Um, are we gonna have those meatballs for dinner? I was gonna go to the grocery store right now. Oh, I thought we were gonna have those meatballs. <laughs> no, I don't want those meatballs. You gotta go to school tomorrow. I know. Why are you yelling? Because you're telling me stuff I already know. I know I have to do all this. I'm gonna suffer. That's it. You gotta stop making yourself sick with anxiety and worry. Anyway, I made my friends cry today, apparently. Because one of my friends named Kila. Um, typed something. She supposedly almost tried to kill herself this weekend. Okay. And I don't know her that well. But I know for a fact she's... She plays this facade where she pretends she's happy. And I know this is going to happen throughout my entire life. People are going to accuse me for not being original. Like, for being unoriginal. Like, everyone does. Everyone gets accused for being unoriginal. I get that. But I got accused for being unoriginal today because of my quote-unquote monologue. That this kid named Nico is such an ass. And the teacher's an ass, too. And the thing about my school here, everyone loves the teachers who are completely... Terrible. Everyone loves the terrible teachers. Well, when the actually good teachers come along, like they're all like, oh, let's just walk all over them. They don't mean anything to us. Okay, so what's the point of this rant? So the point of this rant is because I was actually trying to be a good person, mm -hmm. and I ended up making them cry as of my powerful speech. Like they said, that was like really, po really powerful, and thank you. What did you do? I just, I told them that. Life is really precious, and you shouldn't waste your time thinking that you're worthless, thinking that, this is advice for myself too, thinking that you're terrible. I told them both, I told both of them that they're beautiful, that they were talented. The quiet Emma, that I'm friends with, um, was just flat out started crying in the middle of class. And usually I'm the one who's crying because I'm a very emotional person. As you know, the videos that they show are sad. Man. Where? In health? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's so stupidly sad that I just laugh. Right. Sometimes they're laughable. Yeah. But like, that's from the Buddhist teachings, you know, in times of self-hatred, one must remember that all living creatures, including yourself, all living things, have a precious Exactly life. what I was trying to say. And, and he was like, you know, have you the know potential where... for full enlightenment, full perfection. That's exactly what I was saying. And this kid named Nico was like, you know, all you said was fake, right? You're such a faker. You want to know why? Because you read that from, you saw that from a movie somewhere, especially with that kid Keith. You probably didn't even know that kid. Oh, that, I know. that. I wanted to sock his jaw. I know, I know. But that was two different times. Yeah, but he called, he like, he supposedly called me out on my bull crap. When really I'm like, tell me, what movie did you see that in? Name a movie. Go on. If you want to know the exact movie, tell me. Tell me. Mm hmm He stood there silent. Mm hmm And I wanted to soccer punch. I rolled up my sleeves. So why why didn't you say, no, it's not original. It's something that I I learned from the Buddha. I mean, why wouldn't you give credit where it's credit to you? I'm like... Because you're in the heat of the moment. Yeah, I was in the heat of the moment. And I was like... But then again, I still called him on all those bull crap. And you see, here's the thing. I wanted, I wanted to tell them this outside, but they were just like, they were saying, no, we, we don't have any other time to do this. We want to talk to you about it right now. And I'm like, can we just do it in the girls' bathroom? Let's all excuse ourselves in the classroom. And I said, screw it. I'll just tell them this right now. And then they just both started crying. And they both, and I had to bring Emma, quiet Emma, because she was, 
crying too much. Because you said that they were beautiful and talented. Yes. That's very nice of you. Yes. I had to take her to Miss Intrican, but I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. What was your monologue? I don't remember exactly, but um, it was off the top of my head. It was basically stuff that um, you told me, stuff that I learned. You wrote your own monologue? Where's it written down? It's not written. I made it off the top of my head. How did it go? But Emma told me all... How did it go? You just did like a rant up there? It's a random rant that you'd like probably hear from like, I don't know, really a TED Talk or something like that. Yeah. And from you. <laughs> but I mean like it was like a mixture of things that I've compelled. Like compiled. stuff from compiled. Compiled from you and the Buddha and myself that I've learned. And YouTube. And yeah, YouTube. And TED Talks. And TED Talks. <laughs> but it's basically just one jumbled into one. But it's they your all own have the translation. Same, yeah, my own translation. Right. And um he like I'm just really pissed at the teacher because mm -hmm. I'm like, I'll just give it, I'll just give her her stuff because she sits at my, she sits at my table, right. she, but she never says anything. She's really just she's on great. her phone and she listens, I listen to her, I talk to her, but we usually, just, she never talks, really. She rarely talks. She just writes her, all, all of our conversations are through notes. Right. And, um, I'm really pissed off, this kid named Nico. And he shares the same birthday as my friend, as the loud Emma, or I like to say the kinky Emma. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Nico is just getting a rise out of you because he can. And um, No, I freaking rolled up my sleeves. Oh, well, yeah, but you need to be a Buddhist and be not attached to that. Don't I react. didn't. I, I, I did be that. I actually proactive. Attacked. Don't be reactive. I can't wait till I graduate, though. When I graduate, I won't have to be at the school. Sure, I'll see the I teachers wanted to alone. hear a sample of your monologue. Did anybody record it? No, I wish. But um, here's what I said. Here's the long and short of what I said. All right. I said this. I've been depressed. We've all been kind of depressed. We all have our own struggles. We all go through things that we... Like, I'm not even a real adult. I'm not even a real adult yet. I've already seen a bunch of stuff I shouldn't have. Through the internet... Through like reality, reality, I mean, and people see dead bodies when they're like two years old. Yeah, like, you and know what I mean? people like, don't even like. And... I'm like, I have, I, I, I even, I showed them, I showed them, I even cut myself, and I openly admit that it's not something I'm proud of, but it's something I did, and I have a feeling that people should know that about me. People should know I did that. I did that a long time ago, and she's like, "How did the scars heal?" And I'm like, "I did in sixth grade." <laughs> I was sad. I was depressed. And I get that. People can be depressed, but you need to look yourself in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. You need to tell yourself this so that you can t defend the ego. And they're like, what's the ego? The ego is something terrible that's inside you. It's inside all of us. But we need to learn how to get it out by telling each other that we are worth it. It's we shouldn't waste our time telling ourselves that we're terrible. Like you're never gonna do anything in life. You sh you need to what you need to use that time into building up your self confidence. And every life, I'm I say I said I said this. I believe in reincarnation. It takes a long time for you to become a human. You've gone through many lives. You've gone through so you you have you've gone through so much work. To get to this point, why would you want to waste it and just blowing your brains out? Why do you want to waste it? And sure, I joke about death. Because it's hilarious. I'm not a, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm not afraid of it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not afraid of it. <laughs> right. But the day that you are afraid of death is the day that you are going to die. And if you say you're afraid of death now, people who like hung, hang themselves, people who shoot themselves, people who do school shootings, they regret it. Some people don't. But once you put that bullet through your brain. You've lost that. You've lost your life. That precious rebirth. Yeah. Once you tie that noose around your neck, you're, you're done. You can't take it back. Death is nothing. You, it's. Like your papa. Yes. I didn't tell him that. that that's too much of a touchy subject. But yeah. 
Like, you never know when's your last day on earth. That's why you should tell yourself that you're really precious. And that, right then and there, both of them just started crying. There you go. You look like you feel better. I feel better. I'm still going to take the ibuprofen, though.